Assalamualaikum everyone. Myself Sail Kumar and I am going to discuss the anatomy of forelimb of the ox. This is the forelimb of ox, and I am going to discuss anatomy, function, and significance of the forelimb of ox. Introduction: Forelimb of ox is a complex structure that plays a crucial role in the animal movement, balance, and overall well-being. Bones of the forelimb uh, include scapula. Humerus, radius and ulna, carpal, metacarpal and phalanges. And I am going to discuss now scapula that is also known as shoulder blade. Scapula is a flat triangular bone also known as shoulder blade. It serves as the attachment site for muscle controlling the forelimb and stability location. It is found in the lateral aspect of the thorax, forms part of the shoulder joint by articulating with the uh, humerus at glenoid cavity. And the position lies obliquely along the ribcage, sloping from dorsal to ventral direction. The cranial part is directed forward and caudal part is directed backward. The scapular spine runs dorsoventrally, dividing the lateral surface into two regions that is, the supra spinous fossa and infra spinous fossa. This is the shoulder joint. Surfaces of the scapula. There are two surfaces in the scapula this is the lateral surface and this is the medial surface. Acromion process is a bony extension that is uh, that where the scapular spine ends, ends and the medial surface also known as costal surface. It faces the ribs and it contains subscapular shallow fossa that is known as subscapular fossa. And this is the lateral surface and this is the medial surface of scapula. Borders of scapula. There are three borders that is cranial border, caudal border and the dorsal border and also three angles that is the cranial angle, caudal angle and ventral angle. Key features of a scapula. A scapular spine divides the lateral surface into two fossa serve as the major size attachment. This is the big slide and the acromion process we have also discussed the acromion process and this and the end there is glenoid cavity. This is the glenoid cavity. Supraglenoid tubercle give origin to the bicep brachy muscles, coracoid process, small projection on the medial aspect of the supraglenoid tubercle site for the coracobrachial muscles. Attachment Newton foramen, Newton foramen. Here we can see that there is the Newton foramen through which the blood vessels and nutrients are allowed to enter in the bone. Now I am going to discuss muscles of the scapula. Me on medial surface, there is a rhomboid muscles originate from the base of the skull and spine. In the neck and upper vein. Here are the rhomboidus muscle, and their function is to pull scapula dorsally and cranially and support the forelimb. There are, they also help in absorbing the shock. And then there is infraspinated muscles, origin infraspinated muscles of the scapula. They are originated from the infraspinous uh, spinous fossa, and their insertion is at the greater tubercle of the humerus. And uh, their function is the help in the lateral rotation of the humerus. Then the supraspinate is muscles. They are originated from the supraspinous fossa of the scapula and their insert insertion in the greater and lesser tubercle of humerus. Their function is to extend the shoulder joint and stabilize the shoulder joint during movement. And then we have trapezius muscles. They are originated from the neutral ligament and the thoracic vertebra. Their insert insertion in the spine of the scapula and their uh, function is to elevate and move the scapula dorsally and cranially and then we have deltoid muscles they are originated from the spine and acromion of the scapula here from here and their function is to flex the shoulder joint and then bicep uh, brachy muscles they are originated from the supraglenoid tubercle of the scapula their function is to flex the elbow joint and they assist in shoulder extension and stabilization and in coracobrachial muscles they are originated from the coracoid process of the scapula. Their insertion is in the medial surface of the humerus from this side. And their function is to stabilize the shoulder joint and assist in flexation and medial rotation. And then we have medial side muscles that are uh, located in this side that are serrated cervices. They are originated from the transfer processes of cervical vertebra at first eight and nine ribs. And they are inserted in the serrated face of the scapula. Their function act as 
suspensory muscles holding the scapula against the shock absorption and weight bearing. Then serrated thoracic. They are originated from the ribs and thoracic vertebra. Their insertion is in the serrated face of the uh, cervices help in the forward movement of the limb during the locomotion.